guys how you can put your baby on a on a, on your back just using a piece of material. So we call this material chitenge. It's African material and it's used in most African countries. So it's got many uses as well. So with this chitenge you can actually also wear it. So you can wear it, put it around you. It can be like a wrap skirt. So you wear it like this. So this little piece over and over like that. And then go and go around you as well. Then you tuck it in. And then it's a chitenge. It's a wrap skirt. So it's like this. Okay. Another thing you can do as well is that you can make like a dress out of it. So over. So you grab it like that. So this is how it is at the back. Like that. And then come over, cross the material, like that, and then put it up like that, and then tie it around your neck like that, and it's done, it's a dress. The most important use of this material is used as a baby carrier. So I'm going to show you how it's done. So you can start by putting it around your waist like this, and then you grab your baby. Olivia Grace, Olivia Grace, Olivia Grace, come up, come up baby, Papo. it's back there. Like that, so you can use your left hand to hold the baby like this, and your right like this to hold the arm. So, baby comes over like that onto your waist, left hand touches the bottom, and then you can swap between hands to secure the baby on your back. So, there you go. Once the baby is stable on your back, she's been she's used to it, so and I'm used to doing it, so it's easy for me, but it takes a lot of practice. So what you do is that you put the chitenge or the material over baby's shoulders and then the next step is to make sure that it's underneath the baby's butt. That. So it comes over the baby's bum like that. And then once it's over, you use your left hand to secure. You don't leave your arm. Your, you don't take your arms off. So once it's done, you can make sure that it's... There's no slack, so you pull all the material together, and once it's done, you notice that the material that goes over the shoulder, like that, if you can see, goes over the shoulder like that, is usually longer than the one that's underneath your armpit. So once it's done, once the baby is secure, and there's material underneath the bottom, underneath the bottom like that, so you are ready to tie a knot. Then you tie it, and then. Voila, the baby is on your back and then you can also move the baby in different positions so if you want your baby to be in front let me show you the back first of all so nice and secure and if the baby is about to move or you think that it's not secure you can always feel it coming and done but I've never dropped the baby before so the baby comes over like this yeah and the baby is in front and then you can even breastfeed the baby from the front like this and if the baby falls asleep you can actually put the material over their head like that. Over. Night night time. Night night time baby. And it's done. Yep. You can vacuum, you can do dishes, you can dance around your favorite song. <laughs> With baby on your back. Nice. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Done. <laughs> Thank you. So the major advantage of carrying around a piece of cloth to put your baby on your back or as a baby carrier is that um, you can easily fold it in and it can easily be packed away and easily be carried so you don't even, yeah, so that's the major advantage. So, and you can put it almost anywhere, it can fit in your bag, anyway, this is how small it becomes compared to modern carriers that they're not easy to fold. So yeah. Uh -huh. Do you want me to do it again or it's fine? No, that's fine.